Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Creative Process. Today I'm going to show you how to create a stylized magazine cover in Photoshop. We'll start out by importing an image and applying color gradient. We'll give brown color on the bottom and deep blue color on top. Then we'll bring in the Alive logo and show you how to add perspective drop shadow. After that, we're going to bring in some text and show you how to use alignment tool in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and create a new document of 23 by 30 cm with 300 dpi. Now import the image into Photoshop and scale up the size to cover up the whole canvas. Now the first thing I want to do is to add a nice color. We're going to give blue color on top and brown color on the bottom. So open the layer panel and let's first delete the white background layer. Now I'm gonna grab down the adjustment layers and choose gradient. This will add a gradient color to the image. Click on the gradient to choose from different gradient colors then hit OK. So I have created a gradient over the top of our image. Now we're gonna apply color to the image. And to do that we're gonna use blend modes. Use shift and plus or minus keyboard shortcut to choose from different blend modes. You can see the effects live. For this I'm going to choose screen. It will lighten up the image. Now let's change the gradient color. So double click on the gradient and here's our gradient panel. Click on the left slider and change the color to brown. For the right slider, we're gonna choose deep blue color from the color picker. Then hit OK. You can adjust the angle of rotation to change the direction of the gradient color. We'll keep it vertical and hit OK. Now I'm gonna add a little contrast to the image. To do that, add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer just above the image layer. And adjust the contrast value using the slider. Now I'm gonna add a gradient mask to the adjustment layer. So click on the gradient and choose black gradient color with 100% opacity on the one side and the zero opacity on the other side. Then hit OK. Now click and drag to apply the mask using the gradient tool. This is gonna add the contrast only to the lower region. Now we're gonna bring the Alive logo and show you how to add perspective drop shadow. So here's the file which we have created in our previous episode. Click and drag it to our main file. Scale up the size and place it on the top. Next, we're going to remove the yellow color from the image. To do that, open layer star panel and apply color overlay. Choose white color and hit OK. Next, create a duplicate of the layer. So for the second layer, change the overlay color to black. You can move the layer using the arrow keys of the keyboard. Use Command or Ctrl T to activate the transform option. Then scale on the size and place them properly using the arrow keys. Now, we're gonna modify the shadow using the wrap option. So activate the transform tool, then right click and choose wrap option. Here, we're gonna modify the shape using the grid. Click and drag to adjust the position of the shadow. Once you are done with the adjustments, hit the enter button. Use the opacity slider to adjust the opacity. This is gonna give you a nice drop shadow on the cover. Next, I'm gonna show you how to use alignment tool and text properties. So I'm gonna bring in some of the text into our main file. Now let's say we want to place the gradient adjustment layer and the type tool text to be placed on the right side of the cover with the proper alignment. So move both the text on the right side and use keyboard shortcut T to activate the text properties. Here, we're gonna choose a proper font for our text. Now I want this text to be aligned on the right side. So if I select both the text with the command or control pressed, on the top you can see the alignment tools are activated. You can use any of this alignment tool as per your requirement. For this I'm gonna use right alignment tool. And you can see both the text are perfectly aligned. Next we are going to break the layer blend mode into three lines and scale up the size using the transform option. Choose a thick font for this text. Now we'll open character window. So click on this icon. Here we can do further adjustments with the text. You can increase or decrease the distance between two fonts or two lines. For this, I'm gonna reduce the distance between two lines. And here we go. Now I want everything to be aligned on the left side. So select layer blend mode and create a magazine in Photoshop then click on left alignment tool. Next, I'll change the color of the type tool to blue using the color picker. Now we're going to add a rectangular shape beneath the Creator Magazine cover in Photoshop to make it more visible. 
So select the rectangular shape tool and draw the rectangle. Remove the stroke color and fill it up with black color. Now place the layer just below the text layer and reduce the opacity around 46% to blend it with the background. I want to change the color to light blue from the color swatches. Lastly, we'll bring in the barcode image to our main file to make it look like a real magazine. Scale on the size using the transform option and rotate it to 90 degree angle. Then place the barcode at the left side of the cover. Finally, we have completed designing a stylized magazine cover in Photoshop. During this process, we have seen how to apply color gradient to an image, add perspective drop shadow and a proper use of alignment tool. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing, don't forget to like, share and subscribe this channel. Thank you.